Hey guys, this is Mike, and you're watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Sunday, March 24, 2019, and it is early springtime here in the state of Pennsylvania. We have moved our clocks. We're able to fish later into the evening, and I think I speak for everyone when I say that we're ready for the trout action to heat up along with the air temperatures. And you know, one of the great things about living in the state of PA is that we have these class A wild trout streams, and that would include wild brook, wild brown, and wild rainbow trout in some cases. You can fish these class A streams year round. And that's what I'm doing here again today. This stream next to me is a tributary to Big Pine Creek. That's located here in Lycoming County. And many of you that are from the southeastern part of the state where I'm from have cabins up here. And if you didn't know about all these great trips, you should really check it out because almost every trip that dumps into Big Pine has wild brook trout in it. And in some cases, wild browns. So it's definitely a, another thing to check out when you don't feel like fishing the big water. And it's just a beautiful area to explore. This particular stream took me about an hour and a half to hike into. I had to come in down a mountain off of a state forest road. Uh, it's Tyadotton State Forest. And it was tough hiking, but I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to find some pristine water here that hasn't been touched by a fly line for a long time. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using. We're gonna head upstream. The air temps are pretty moderate today. They're in the high 50s. I waited to come out here till lunchtime and I'm hoping that the fish will be a little more active and we'll see what we can find. All right guys, so let's go do it. Okay guys, I have the Hatch 3 Plus out here on the eight foot four weight G Loomis as usual. I'm using a two nymph setup today. For my dropper, I have this pink Ferrari nymph with the pink lively legs and the pink tungsten bead head. I have that dropped off the back of a little black stonefly imitation with 5X fluorocarbon split by a split shot. And that little black stonefly imitation can be a hot pattern in March. I've seen them coming off today and it may or may not work. We'll see, that's underneath a lightning strike indicator here. And we're gonna start working these riffles and these pockets. The flow is up because of snow melt and the temps are coming in around 45 degrees. We'll see if we can find some brook trout here in Lycoming County. Just beautiful colors on that fish, guys. That is a wild brook trout. Wow, gorgeous. Guys, sorry about that. I probably looked ridiculous trying to net that fish, but I was so excited to get him in. He was fighting so well. But what a gorgeous fish. Look at the belly on that fish. Beautiful oranges. Beautiful wild trout.
Guys, that brookie was on that nymph in less than a second. I mean, the minute it hit the water. That's just incredible they can pick something up that fast. But another, another beauty. This guy caught me so off guard, I dropped my net. Works hard for that one. Another buzzer beater, guys. Okay guys, I'm calling it quits here in Lycoming County. It's a little after seven o'clock and I have a very grueling hike up a really steep hill right here, which I will show in the outro. It is gonna be a lot of fun. But I'll tell you what, this was a really interesting day. I hiked into this trib and I walked it all the way down to the mouth at Big Pine, which was much further than I thought. And that lower quarter of the stream I could not find any fish. Uh, typically in a really good brook trout stream, you can sneak up on a very deep pool, which there were several down there that were crystal clear, and I did not see a single fish. I fished all those pools and didn't have any takes, and for whatever reason, it seems like that lower half of the stream just doesn't have any fish, and there is a, another trib that dumps in off the mountain, so I don't know if the water quality is such that it can't support fish down there, but about a quarter of the way up, I started finding these wild brook trout, and they were real beauties. All of them were beautiful sizes. They all were definitely wild and haven't been caught for a while because they fought like crazy. Um, 
some of the best fighting rookies I've caught in the past 12 months. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, you really had to pick your spots here on this stream today because the flows are up from Thursday's rain and also from snow melt. And so there were limited spots that you could target when fishing nymphs subsurface. But I found a few. I frustratingly missed a few, which I think you'll see on camera. Uh, it's just so frustrating when you work so hard to get down here and you have opportunities and when you can't capitalize on them, it's just really, really frustrating. But I guess that's just part of the fishing game and why I keep coming back to places like this. So it was a lot of fun. Guys, I appreciate everybody that watches the channel. People who are emailing me or, or commenting, guys, I try my best to get back to everybody, but I, I just get so many emails and comments now. Sometimes it takes me a week or two to get back to everybody. So if you have a time sensitive thing, I apologize. I'm doing the best I can. Um, but thanks for your subscriptions. Click subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, I, again, I appreciate everybody that watches the channel. So I'm gonna get out of here before the sun goes down. Hopefully I don't run into any bears up there in the mountain wall. And um, I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.